Hello and welcome back to my video. In this video I will show you how you can install uh, SSH on your Windows 2060. In a newer patch in Windows 10 you get this feature but if you're working a lot with Linux you really miss this to connect from a Linux box to your Windows environment. In my case I need to control uh, a Hyper-V environment so I need to find a way around it. So I have find it right now and I hope you enjoy. Let's start it. First you need to, to open your browser. I have installed Chrome in my in my server and then you need to go inside to open SSH. When we are going inside here I just installed a new beta. It's working pretty good and you need to install to open your uh, to download to Windows 64-bit uh, systems and when it's done view the folder and we need to pack it out so open a new folder and be ready for this here's my folder and I need to go to my C drive and program files and then I just copy it double click to ensure to be sure everything here is, is, is installed and you can close this window now. Close Chrome to not confuse it. Now we need to, uh, to open uh, the control panel. And it's here. And then we go in for system and security. And we need to go for system and advanced system settings. Down you have, uh, if you don't go in for this tab, click on advanced and in the bottom you get environment variables. Click here on pass and find the pass down here. Click on edit, you get the system environment, then click add. We need to add a new one, open SSH, win64. That's the folder here. You, cannot, you can just click here and copy that and insert it to be sure. Press OK, OK and OK here. The next you should do is open uh, uh, to, to, uh, to open your PowerShell. Run this as administrator. It's very important. You need to go inside to your uh, C drive, program files, and open SSH. When you're inside here, you can press start and backslash, and then the install SSH service. If this command coming up, it's a security reason, and that's good. We are pretty sure we want to run this always so just press A we can close this down again and there's two and this is, it should be installed now so go in for control panel one more time and I will search for administration tools I have it here you open a new folder and click on service And then you can go for search for, for your SSH. Open it up and we always want this automatically started. And then we need to start it now. And the same you do for the SSH server automatically and start. And then it should be running now. You can see it's running and running. Now we need to add it to your firewall because when I'm going inside here to use CMD and SSH, now I have all the commands SSH, administrator, and localhost. You can see you can go inside and I say, yes, that's fine. I can log in my local system here and 
and use Dia. It's working. If I'm going for my, my remote here, it's not on Hyper-V, and use SSH, and then the IP address for my test serving, you can see I cannot connect because the firewall is blocking. And then we go into exit here and close this down. That's why we need to go into the firewall and allow it to have a firewall with advanced security. You need to go for inbound rules and click on new rules. Select the port, the only thing we need to allow, TCP and port 22. We allow the connections and we allow it everything on the domain, private and public. And here open SSH connection on port 22. If I'm open up again and connect again, then you can see now I can connect. Press yes and type down the password. And you can see everything. Desktop. I can go down here again, close this down, and a new file. You can say one more time, and you can see it. Hello world, txt, txt. Perfect. Thank you for watching my video about how you can install OpenSSH on a Windows 2060 server, and I hope this. Uh, make sense and I hope you want to subscribe my channel. If you have any, any possible comments please make them below. Thank you so much for your time. I really hope you want to share this with your friends and like it, uh, like it and put it to your playlist. Thank you. See you next time.